Hi, I have had an exciting day today and I wanted to uh, bring you a word today. Those that are tuned into my channel, you know my name, Charlotte Jollyvet. Um, and I like to bring a fresh word from the word of God that's going to make us grow. I like to um, plant and water and feed so that the maturity level will come out of the Christian. I love seeing Christians grow. You know, uh, in the book of Corinthians, um, it was a always something going on in the Corinthians church. And uh, Apostle Paul said, I couldn't feed you with meat because you were so much uh, immature and was always drinking the milk. I'm a teacher of the word of God and I love milk, but I love to give forth good meat of the word of God that we can actually grow. The Bible, first of all, when we get born again, we know that we get born again and Jesus comes into our hearts and gives us a new nature. But then our minds need to be renewed according to Romans 12. And when we renew our minds to the word of God, then we grow. And we become from immature to mature, sanctified, Holy Ghost, devil chasing children of the most high God who loves everybody and work out of love in the kingdom of God to see it grow. Well, the word that I had in my mind today uh, was the word repentance, which we don't hear much in the church world. And I see now that the enemy uh, in these last of the last days, the pandemic and all that's going on in the world, the church shutting down. And I believe that the church is awakening because they can see now that we need more meat into the word of God so we can make the Christians strong. And when trials and tribulations and trouble come, uh, we'll have the word of God in us. You know, if you put the word in you when you don't need it, then when you need it, you'll have the word of God. And I believe that that's what God wants us to do, is to put the word of God in us. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of the Lord. That's what we live off of. And that's what we hunger and thirst for. Look here what it says in Matthew 3. It says, in those days came John the Baptist, preaching in the wilderness of Judea. Verse two say, and saying, repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Do you hear that word repentance in there? Well, I found out a little secret about repentance. Once we get born again, first of all, before we get born again, we're sinners. And the first thing that we must do in order to become a Christian when we are sinners is we must repent. So John the Baptist was a forerunner of Jesus Christ and preaching the word repentance. I think the word repentance should be understood by the Christians as well as the sinners. It's one of the most, when I found out what it meant, it's one of the most beautiful words that <laughs> other than grace and mercy and love and kindness of Jesus Christ, the word repentance that he gives us is so precious. Let me tell you what I found out about the word repentance. John the Baptist was saying repent because the kingdom of God is at hand. And he was saying repentance, when I looked that word up in the Greek, it means metanoia, which means a change of thought. Would you have ever thought that repentance mean a change of thought? to change your mind, your way of thinking. That's what repentance is. It's a beautiful word when we have the grace of God on our lives and we can actually change our minds. Do you remember that scripture in uh, Matthew 15, I think it was, when it's talking about the prodigal son? You remember he left the father's house and then he went away and he wandered, he wandered into the pig's pen 
And there's a scripture, a little part of a scripture in there that shows me how he woke up. It says, and he came to himself. I believe that word he came to himself means that he started thinking a different way. I remember when I started thinking a different way. Let me go back a little bit. You know, in Genesis 1, the, the, the uh, uh, snake in the garden came. It was really the devil disguised as a snake because that's what he do. He's a deceiver. And he lied and Adam and Eve bit off the lie. And when they bit off the lie, their mindset went the way of the world, lust of the flesh, lust of um, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the world and the pride of life. And they took on the nature of the enemy. Their mindsets changed. Where they was walking in the cool of the day, they was running from God now. <laughs> when Jesus came into the world, it was for sinners who had the wrong mindset. My God, can you get this? They was thinking lies and deception. I remember when I was thinking all those lies. I was thinking that if I could get more finer, that I would find my true love. I was thinking that if I go to church and look at all the cute boys, it would bring me happiness. One lie after the other. But oh, when I had awakening in my spirit and I repented, I found out it was the devil who was lying to me and that I needed Jesus Christ in my life. I changed my mind by the grace of God when I heard the good news of the gospel that Jesus can take our sins. He already has done it when he died on the cross. He took our shame, our guilt, and our sins as far as the east is from the west. The Bible says he does not remember them anymore. That's what's good news to me. And when I repented, thank you, Jesus. Repentance, remember, means metanoia, which means a change of thought, a change of mind, a change of lifestyle. A lot of people think they can come into the kingdom and still live that same old lifestyle. But Jesus has set us free. In the book of John, it says, whom the Son set free is free indeed. Thank you, Father, for setting us free. If you look at that scripture over in Isaiah 55, it says that our ways are not God's ways. Our thoughts are not his thoughts. Our ways are not his ways. In Isaiah, I think it's eight and nine. And as I was looking at that, I saw that word repentance way back in Isaiah, in the book of Isaiah. Because the enemy has taken that scripture and it has turned it around in the thinking of so many people to hold them captive to a bad way of thinking. Do you know one thought can keep you captive for life? That's the reason why I hunger and thirst for the truth of God's word. Because I love being free. And in the book of Isaiah 55 and 8, surely it says that we don't think like God and his ways are not our ways. But if you read a verse above that, Isaiah 55 and 7, it says, let the wicked forsake his thoughts. My Lord, let the wicked forsake his ways. Did you hear that? Let the wicked forsake his thoughts. That repentance right there. That's the word repentance, even in the Old Testament. When someone forsake their thoughts and their ways, because all have sinned and come short of the glory. Why do we need to change our ways and our thoughts? Because 
We have all sinned and come short of the glory of God. Because we are all sinners until we change our ways and our thoughts and get born again. Like he told Nicodemus, you must be born again. And the way you get born again is to change your thinking from that old way of life and choose to think the thoughts of God, choose to think his ways. And when you think his ways and you come to know him intimately, get into the word of God, feed on the word of God, learn of him and his love for us and all those promises he's promised us. And as we keep learning the word of God, we keep changing our mind. And when we keep changing our minds, we're changing our soul and we are being changed from glory to glory to become more and more like Jesus. That word repentance is so good. It's not to be abused. Oh my God. I don't have time to give you all the revelation on abusing that word or any word, good news from the Bible. I don't have time for that today, but that's a subject for a later time. But right now, I want to leave this with you. That repentance is one of the most beautiful words in the Bible because it connects and it puts us in right alignment with the God who loves us so that our blessings can come down. Repentance means when you hear the good news, believe it, receive it. And you can have all the promises because salvation will come to you. When he said the kingdom of heaven is at hand in Matthew uh, 3, when John the Baptist was preaching repentance, I tell you today that when we repent, the kingdom comes in us. My God. And then we live out of the kingdom that's already in us. Everything we need, we already have. It's a finished work. And we can have the kingdom of God because it comes in us when we repent and receive Jesus Christ. The spirit of God comes in us and lives in us. Is that good news on the word repentance? Remember, it means a change of mind, a change of thought. Each time you take your evil thoughts, your thoughts that's not lining up with God's thoughts, every time we change them, when we're born again, we become more and more like Christ. And the kingdom of God flows from the temple of God. And we become more and more like Jesus. Good news, repentance.